Time to take a look at the deer. Now three of them here. They was all working when I put them away, I think. But notoriously stuff just breaks as it sits in storage. Which I don't quite understand. You know, certain things I understand break down when you don't use them, but a light bulb should just work. So we gotta check them all and see if they're working or not. Start with the small one. What a flippin' joke. You know, I'm getting tired of these deer. I was sick of them last year because they kept breaking. Okay. Well, we're off to a great start here. Can't get to it from this side. Let's see what we got here. We got the light discarder basic. We're going to use that. And we're going to need a whole bunch of uh, bulbs. I bought a bunch of bulbs last year. I'll just take all this stuff into the other room because probably going to need it at some point anyways. basic not good I hope that didn't just break okay gotta walk this light because the light bill is gonna start going up all right let's peep this situation here and see what we got in these boxes I'm probably gonna have to order more two and a half and three and a half clear anyways because my mother has a lot of stuff that utilizes those bulbs and I'm usually good to go through a couple hundred of them a year so these are all colored bulbs Here we go. This is what I was looking for. So I gotta order more of these because this, believe it or not, this will not even get us through half of the setup probably. These are all ones that is burnt out. Um, I have some here. A lot of these are odd sizes, like that's a seven volts fuses. 12 volts. You know, and I've got a lot of novelty stuff that uses these different voltages, so those are good to have. I have a lot of 2.5 colored, but I don't go through too many of those. Oh, here's a couple 2.5 whites. This is kind of like my, my backup or novelty supply box. Only two or three packs of the white ones in here. I really needed them. And I ran out of the bulk. Alright, so that's that. This is what I was looking for, so we've got that. Hopefully that's enough to fix the deer. And then let's get the light keeper basic out of here. Tell you, this thing was the best Christmas lights related purchase that I've done in years. 
as far as like maintenance equipment and repairs go absolutely fantastic I think this is only two series so we got one here and then one here so I think if we get this put this in one of them here it should be enough now um, I recall this being an issue the the lights don't fit onto this thing because of that plastic clip I thought I had I know I had broken off one of the clips on the other deer so that I could use it with the light keeper basic and it looks like I haven't done that yet on here so we're gonna have to because I'm not gonna sit here and go through this manually so uh, we'll just take this one and I'm gonna have to cut this little plastic tab off of there so that it can fit into the light keeper Okay, so we've got um, we got two out over there, three. So let's get to replacing these. This one's out. Let's change this one. I have a jar in the other room. I had a jar in the other room. I don't know if it's still there or not. I had a little upset about this closet today because I took something out of it and I went to put things back and I couldn't figure out how I did it and the stuff wasn't fitting and it's still not fitting right but I'm just irritated and I can't look at it anymore today. I'm going to deal with that another day. i got to tear everything back out again. <sighs> what a freak show. Okay. So this jar here is what I used to put the burned out bulbs in there. I don't really know why I keep them. It's just, I've always done it, so I keep doing it. Maybe one day I'll make a decoration of it or something. This is kind of a pain in the neck. To, to do this but there's really no other way to fix it if you don't change these bulbs out the whole stinking thing ends up going out because these are wired in series so when one of the bulbs um, when one of the bulbs goes out the rest stay lit but the voltage goes up and that's just going to make everything burn out faster so when you have these kind of lights it's really quite important to change them out as soon as you notice that some were burned out Okay, I think that's everything. Oh, something's loose over here. I just saw it flicker. Yep, something is loose over here.
It's this bulb here. So we got to check this out and see why is it loose. Sometimes you just got to take it out and, and redo the, the legs and stick them back in and then it'll be okay. In years past, I've never really tie wrapped everything together, but I think I'm going to this year because this stuff it like keeps coming apart and it's very annoying. This one isn't too bad, but those geese in particular, those I think I'm going to wrap together. This is a little clip there. One of the clips is broke, but uh, I guess that's it for this deer. This is working though. Make sure we got all the bulbs. I'd much rather change the bulbs out now than when it's out in the cold. <sighs> I tell you, today is just one of those days where everything that happens is just it's something annoying about everything. All right, I think this is good now. This one's all set, ready to go. For now, I am sure it'll break soon. Because that's just what these things do. Let's grab the other ones and see how they're doing. So that's one of the goose I was talking about. It's got to get tie wrapped together. Alright, let's take a look at this hunk of junk. I'm gonna get some tie wraps because this is like, this is not functional. Alright, let's see if any of this works. Nope. Not too much of it's working. Only about half. Not even half, about a third. The head works. The motor is, uh, it's vibrating, but it's not doing anything. I don't know what's wrong with the motor. I don't feel vibrating no more. Well, I guess the motor's not going to work. Got a whole bunch of bulbs out here. Let's start with changing those. Because if the... Um, if the lights still work, I'll use it. You know, the motor... I like the motor to work. I think the animated ones are cool, but... If... Uh, if the motor is not going to work, you know, whatever, the lights... As long as the lights work, I'll limp through another year.
Okay, it looks like that's all the lights from this set. Anything loose here? Let's move on to the other side and see if we get there going. Not sure that's the right socket to do it in because it's a weird like junction socket. Um, this clip is already broke so I'll just cut it off the rest of the way and I'll put the light keeper in here. Well, this has got quite a few out as well. What I'll probably do is I'll let these run overnight tonight and then I'll check them again in the morning before I put them out because sometimes the bulbs go out shortly after I've had it plugged in for the first time. And I'd much rather change the bulbs here in the bench than outside. Okay, I think that's all the bulbs that was out. Not sure what's the deal with this motor. I, I replaced the motor in the other one. Maybe two years ago. And uh, the problem with that one was it seemed like it was getting wet. And this one I believe also was getting wet. And then I, because I glued it on the other side here. To kind of create more of a seal but I guess it eventually 
just rust it out and quit. Yeah, something is loose on this other side. I can't quite tell where it is, but something is definitely loose somewhere. So we may have to revisit it. I don't know if I'm just not seeing these the first time around, but I'm noticing there's several more bowls out of already, even before it's been running for more than a couple of minutes. Okay, so if this is not going to work, which it's obviously not, I'm going to take this off and we'll leave this, that was cool, we'll leave that off uh, because what I'll do is I'll open this up and try to find a replacement motor for it and maybe we can fix it and then I can put it back out. See all these screws is rusted. I bet there's water in there. Not good. In fact, this is starting to rust in multiple places. You know, this thing really isn't isn't in the greatest of condition anymore. I I don't like these these deer. They've been very unreliable over the years, and they're they're very like thin and flimsy metal. My grandfather has an old set from years and years and years ago and it's not uh the, the metal is like three times the thickness of this one you know these are real cheap and i've looked around for vintage deer and i haven't really had any good uh, results finding any and this year there's been no tag sales at all i don't know what happened i mean there was even a couple last year but this summer, nothing. It's kind of weird going into the Christmas because usually I have a bunch of new decorations and I got to figure out where to put them. But this year, it ain't nothing. These bulbs keep going out as we're as we're here, so I definitely got to let these run for a while before I put them out. Alright, so I wrapped this here. That's good to go. That's in place. Uh, the tail, I think the light should move up the tail a little bit. Get everything clipped on here. This is missing the clip inherently. This is out now. Jeez, this is ridiculous.
the leg thing is not staying in place. I can bend it a little bit so it will. There we go. Okay. Everything else clipped in. Something you're making sense about the way this is here. I think uh, I think this something's tangled. Something's all off kilter about the way these lights are. It's, it's like really kind of inconceivable how that would have gotten out of line, though. Huh? That's kind of weird. see like this this here this piece seems like it should be in front of this piece so that it could go here and this could go here but it's not and there's no way that that would have moved I don't understand that at all that is really strange no nope. we'll just do the best we can with what we got here we're not working with much anyways, these things is a piece of junk. issue here with the head because the head relies on the motor's weight to stay at the correct angle so I think what we'll have to do is I'll just have to put a wrap in place here up at the top to hold it and then when I get the motor actually you know what let me use a, a piece of wire instead because when I get the um, if I get a new motor for it which I probably will I can just undo this rather than wasting a tie wrap because I don't like to waste materials. be like that and until I get the motor replaced it just be will be a stationary situation which is uh, better than having no situation so we'll deal with it it's like all the bulbs are good up here, no stuff good over here.
going to put another wrap on this side to keep this shut. This is having some issues here. Don't think it's necessarily related to this not being shut, but I guess it wouldn't matter if that comes off. Is this defective? Why isn't this working? Huh, it must have been like stripped out or something in the beginning. It's weird. Whatever. I think I'm just going to take this and stick that in there like that for now. wires don't fit quite right on these legs either not enough slack to really clip it on correctly same thing in the front here where that crosses is not enough slack there either it's ridiculous how improperly made some of this stuff really is Okay, uh, we got a couple more things that are unclipped over here. And the bulb went out. Let's change that. I think that's everything for this one. Yeah, it looks good now. Okay, uh, on to the third one, I guess. I still think something is loose on this one side, but now I can't get it to fail again. I wonder if this motor is drawing any power. Yeah, it's pulling six watts. It's trying to do something, but it's not. I don't know. Just replace it. It's not worth trying to fix a little ten dollar synchronous motor that's been out there for years, anyways. I 
Yeah, this is much better now. It's sturdy with those tie wraps on there. Ugh, the dilapidation of this one is unbelievable. So this one, the motor should at least work because the motor is uh, a replacement. I think it's only a year or two old. And I put this thing on there to try to keep it from getting rained on so it wouldn't be getting so wet all the time. So I suspect the motor ought to be working. The lights, uh, those I don't have too much confidence in. Well, let's check it. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so that's good. The motor is working, but uh, the lights are two thirds out. This one, I've done a couple repairs on it, in fact. It, something ate through the wires here, so I had to redo the wiring. And, uh, whoops. Hey, that fixed the lights. This tab is, like, bent down. It's not meeting the um, upper part correctly. This will probably snap as I try to fix it. Let's see. Put that possibly to the other side. Let's see if I can bend this back up. There's something else isn't right. Why is it up so far? That'll keep it from coming out anymore. Kind of look like that oscillation thing is about to come off of there. Maybe the screw is loose or something. Let's check the screw to make sure the set screw is tight. Nope, the set screw was loose. Now the set screw is tight. Much better. That's not quite as cockamamie as it was before. Okay, so let's take a look at the lights now. Got one, one whole section is out. I have to clip the clip off of one of these so I can get it into the, to the light keeper. There's our tripod kick for the video. See if I can put it in here. No, it started to go. Something's got to be loose somewhere. 
come on, what's going on here? Alright, so we got a bunch of bulbs to replace here. I hate when that happens. The bulb comes out, but it leaves the socket in place. Sometimes these can be pretty difficult to get out of here. That wasn't too bad.
Okay, I think that's all the bulbs. Yeah, it looks like all of them. Okay. So now we can clip everything on. And this one's pretty sturdy. I don't think we really need to do any tie wrapping on this one. I think it'll be fine the way it is. This tail does not really stay in place correctly anymore. I'm not sure if there's really anything we can do about that. I can try and bend that. This uh, closed a little bit. That's good enough. Okay. A lot of the clips are broke on this one. I don't know what happened. I don't remember exactly what happened there. I don't know if that was a flex point or if an animal chewed it. it could have been a squirrel eating that. The squirrels do a lot of damage to the lights around here. <laughs> okay. So this one's all set. So in theory, all three of them should be ready to go outside. I want to check that the last one that I did, the when I used to go up and down and see if that segment of lights that was a little bit flaky will be not working again. to plug in here. Not a lot of slack on the cord. Oh, it's working. Okay. Looks alright. So, we'll consider the deer repaired for now and we'll see what kind of trouble they give throughout the season. Hopefully it's not a repeat of last year, although something tells me it most likely will be.